This is the Daily Pulse from Speak My Word Ministries of Travis Zimmerman. I want to share with you a passage here that Jesus talks about in about the work that God requires. I believe I've done this one before, but you know, as I review these scriptures in the morning and, and reading through them, you know, I, I'm reminded, like it says in Isaiah 41, "For my ways are not your ways, neither my thoughts are your thoughts," that declares the Lord, and that's so true. You know, as we read in Jesus's, you know, Jesus's language here about here he's being asked about. What work must we do, you know, to do the work that God requires? And, and Jesus answers them almost enigmatically at its face. And this is in Matthew chapter, I'm sorry, John chapter 6, verses 28 to 29. Then they ask Jesus, what must we do to do the work God requires? And Jesus answered, the work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. To believe in the one he has sent. You know, as as I think about that, you know, what work must we do to do the work that God requires? You know, uh, that's me. I'm a doer. I'm, a, I'm, I'm an executor. I'm going to go out and do what God tells me to do. You know, okay, just tell me, Jesus, what is that work? And Jesus says, the work of God is this, to believe in the one who he has sent. To believe, and that doesn't require any work per se, does it? It requires a change of heart. And out of that change of heart becomes, you know, the, those, those deeds that we do. Again, deeds don't save us. Works do not save us. But the first part of that is to, you know, to do the work that God requires is to first believe in Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And from out there, from out of that, you know, as Jesus changes from the inside out, he will bring his glory and honor to himself as we perform works for his kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen.